Where are you going, Remy? We're a part of each other. We belong to each other. You're not going to get away from me, Remy. You have no right to get away from me. No! Please, go away! Remy? It's all right, honey. You don't have to run anymore. I'll take care of you. I was this happy. I didn't... Come to think of it, I can't remember ever being this happy. <laughs> it's like things are finally going right for a change. No more Cindy. No more Grant. Oh, what do you say we celebrate? <laughs> Sounds good. Hmm. Let me just call Rachel and tell her the news about Cindy first, okay? Yeah. Great. Hey, Rachel, it's me. Um, I wish I was talking to you instead of your machine, but get a load of this. They charged Cindy with Grant's murder. <laughs> it's over. It's finally, finally over. Amanda? Amanda! Where the hell is she? Amanda! Amanda, where are you? Where do you think you're going? Allie, where is your mom? You gotta tell me right now. Is it you? Jordan? Yes. I love I'm here. I found you at last. I knew nothing could keep us apart. Not even death. Jordan. Is it him? Shut the door. You can't imagine what it feels like to hear your voice again. To hear you say those words again. I have dreamed of this day. From the moment I lost you, I've, I've asked what to do. The words to say. Here we are, finally back together, and I find myself speechless. I, I never stop thinking about you. I never stop looking for the path that would bring us back together again, and that path. Everything I've done has brought us to this garden, to this moment in time.
Now? No. No, don't touch me. Amelie, c'est moi. Remember? I loved you. The first moment I saw you. I love you still. And when you first saw me here in your father's garden, you didn't turn away. Have you forgotten me? Have you forgot you pledged your eternal love to me? This... This is our chance, Amelie. Amelie! How could I possibly forget you, Jordan? Here you are. After all this time. I just want to feel your arms around me again. Why? Then why do you move away? It's Amanda. Her spirit is pushing me away. She is in love with that man. It makes your spirit very strong. I don't know where she stops and I begin. I know. Her heart is bound to his. And as long as they are together, Jordan, there's no hope for us. No. I won't lose you. I won't let that happen. Not again. How should I know where my mom is? You're the one who's stalking her. Allie, you have to listen to me. I I'm being straight with you. Your mom's been sick. You've noticed that, right? She's been getting headaches. She's been complaining of fainting spells. She hasn't been herself. Well, so what are you saying? I'm saying that there's something wrong with her. The only thing that is wrong with her is you. Like it or not, Cameron, things have changed around here. Maybe that's the change that you see. She woke up. So stop embarrassing yourself. She may be too polite to say it, so I'll say it for her, and I'll try and keep it simple. Bug off. Plain enough? If you're not going to let me go up the stairs, then you go do it. You go check on her. Make sure she's all right. She's fine. I think you should leave. No, not until you see her. Then I'll go, I promise. Your promises don't mean anything to me. Look, I've answered any question you've ever had about me. All I've been is honest with you, and you know it. Now, go upstairs, make sure that she's in. Make sure that she's all right, and then I will go, and then I will leave. But not until then. Thunderclouds over our heads. Nothing to worry about. Feels good, doesn't it? It's been a long time coming. I know things have been difficult for you lately. First with Tim, and then Grant's murder, and then your suspension. But I swear, I won't make it up to you. Maybe you don't have to make up anything, do I? We'll be happy again, Joe. I promise. We'll get our lives back. The police got their suspect, and I got my man. Do you have any idea how much I love you? I'm beginning to get an idea. Well, it's got to be good news. No. I bet it's the judge or that crabby DA begging you to take your job back. All right, all right, I'll get it. Mm -hmm. Fine. Keep it short. Okay. I'll meet you in the bedroom. Mm, you got it. I love you. I love you, too. Hello? Joe, Joe, Joe. I'm glad you and the wife made it home safe. Who the hell is this? Ever since the night Grant was murdered, there's been something between us, Joe. I hate when we keep secrets, so now that Cynthia's been charged, maybe it's time we were both honest. Okay. I really don't think this is the best time, sweetheart, okay? <laughs> Plus, we said we weren't going to talk about this anymore. Joe, please, this is too important. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, okay? Um, when I get back. Get back? Get back from where? Station house. Just got to take care of a couple of things. Would they want you back? Not exactly. No. 
don't do this, please. Please, Joe, I know what's wrong. I know why you're walking out. Earlier tonight at Vicky's, I watched you when you thought no one was looking. You can't fool me, Joe. I have loved you too long. You were pretending like everything was so happy, like you were so happy, like this was the best arrest you ever made, but you were acting, weren't you? Well, well, well there's some things I just don't want to talk about, okay? Look, no, we have to do this, Joe. It's not going to be over till we get it out in the open. Look, look, I know you think that Tim is to blame for a lot of stuff. Can't talk about this now. I gotta go. I gotta go. Joe, it's not him. It's me. It's all me. Please. Paulina, please. listen. Stop. You and Dante are the only two people in this whole world who matter to me, no matter what. And that is all we have to talk about. I'll see you later. I love you. Joe, please don't. Don't. Joe. 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 Hey, <laughs> shut up and hide. Jeez, you really need to work on your hostess. Hi, were you asleep or something? Yeah. I, uh, I zonked out on, on the couch here. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, um... See, I've been trying to stay away. Why? I thought things were okay. Remy, you confused the hell out of me. Me? Confusing? You're the one that's confusing. Just listen, just listen. Let me finish, okay? Um, I've been trying to lay low. Stop giving a damn about you. But I can't. Well, good. I guess. So I guess the best way to put the past in the past is, you know, lay it all on the table. Talk it all out. I think that that is a great idea. Uh, why don't we, um, we can go out to dinner or something and... I can't do this. Nick, Tito's here. Tito, you can come out. He knows. Why doesn't that surprise me? Hey, man. Uh, I'll make myself scarce. I don't want to lie to you anymore. I can't. Okay. Which lie do you want to clear up first? Tito's in Bay City because I asked him to come here. How's your mom? Is she all right? I, I don't know. I can't find her. What do you mean? She's not in a room? No, I mean she's not in the house. I looked everywhere. Nobody knows where she is. I, I can't find her. No, we, we got to do something then. What happened between you and her? I came over to give her some good news about my brother, and she was out on the terrace in this flimsy little dress, something that I, I never saw her wear before, and, and she was freezing out, and, and she didn't even know why she had gone out there. So what did you do? I brought her inside to warm her up, and I got rid of David. David was here? Yeah, and as soon as he left, she started to feel better, and then when he forced his way back in here again, she started to get dizzy. Huh, okay, I get it. So David's the bad guy and you're the only one who can help my mom? Good one. But it's not working. This doesn't make any sense. Why would she go back outside? Why are these doors wide open? It's just, it's too cold out there. This doesn't make any sense. Something's wrong. Cameron, I am sure there is a logical explanation for this. Allie, I got a feeling there's something wrong with your mother. I got to find her. Tell me what you're thinking. Is it about your father? He was so angry. When he realized that I wanted to get married. Poor man. Don't ask me to have any sympathy at all for that man. Trying to tear us apart. We had to steal every moment we shared. We had to hide our love. The silences and the arguments. He was furious with me. Because I was so young. No. It was because of me. Who I am. What I looked like. And in the end he won taking you from me, even after we married. He didn't win. No. No, he didn't. Because you're here, and we're together now. Amanda wants to leave now. 
I can feel her trying to push me out. No, Emily, you're stronger than she is. You're stronger than you realize. Your father failed, time failed, and so too will Amanda fail. But she loves him so much. You have to fight, my love. You have to fight against it. Hold on, hold on, my love. No! Amanda! Goodness, I found you. Are you are you all right? Are you hurt? Damon, how did, how did I get here? What happened? What's the last thing you remember? I, I was with Cameron. Well, obviously. You had to get away. Shh. Come with me. I want to take you indoors. And I'm not leaving you until I'm sure that Sinclair man has left the property permanently. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm with you now. Did you find my mom? I've been everywhere. Maybe I should call Joe. Wait, what are you saying? That she could be hurt? What? I don't know. I just it could be nothing. Maybe it could be. I just got this feeling. Oh, Allie, I'm sorry. Please don't mind me. She's going to be all right. She just said that my mom could be in some kind of trouble. No, I'm way over the top. She's going to turn up. You really think she's going to be okay? She's going to be fine. It's just me. You care about her a lot, don't you? More than anything in the world. Oh, my God, Amanda. What the hell is going on? I'm fine, really. Mom. What the hell have you done to her? For the last time, Mr. Sinclair, leave her alone. Hey, what a surprise. What is? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah I, um, I'm sorry I'm stopping by so late. I just, uh, we didn't get to talk today. Uh, I just wanted to let you know that if you need me for anything, I'm going to be crashing at Remy's for the next couple of days. So you are staying in town? Yeah, I told you I want to be here to help you with anything. You know, no, I don't want you to do that. Okay, not for me. Everything's going to be fine. Joe's going to get his job back, I'm sure of that. And you need to get to school. You can't afford to miss any time there. Yeah, well, I can't really afford a whole lot these days anyway. What do you mean? Nothing. No big deal. Uh, look, I'm here to look after hey, you. stop right? it. Stop it. Did something happen? <sighs> My landlord was bugging me about next month's rent, right? Uh -huh. So I packed up my stuff, went and bunked with a friend, and a friend of his decided to take off with my backpack. Had all my books in it. Vonnegut you gave me, and, and all the cash that I, I've been saving from Lucky Lady. Your whole paycheck? The one I just sent you? Honey, that's awful. I'm sorry. Back, it's, no, it's no big tragedy. Oh. All right? I, Remy, Remy's place is free, and I know this great, incredible Italian restaurant, and the owner loves me. <laughs> Feeds me until I'm stuffed. Except she doesn't look too excited right now. No, honey, I, it's, uh, huh. Look, you're gonna get the money, all of it, for your rent, your tuition. It's just, there's a, there's a hitch. What about the money? Look, uh, I can't believe I'm even bringing this up. In fact, if it were up to me, none of this would matter. Well, what is it? It's Rachel. She's insisting. 
She's not going to sign off on my trust fund until you and I do another DNA test. You're late, Carlino. I was starting to think I'd bet on the wrong pony. Maybe I should have gone straight to the DA after all. Why didn't you? I thought you were a smart man, but you keep asking all the wrong questions. I called you first because it pays better. Where are you? You don't have to see me, you only have to listen. You've got 48 hours to come up with 20 grand, or I call the DA and the rest of the city finds out what your wife did in a very nasty, very public trial how far you went to protect her. Wait, wait a second. You, you want me to take another DNA no, test? No, it's not me. It's Rachel. Look, I, I, I argued and I argued, but she won't budge. And she's a trustee. Oh, okay, I get it. I get it. Grandma Corey gets one look at the new addition in the family and figures out that I'm not good enough. No, no, it's not like that at what, all. Did, would Joe get to her? Is he feeding lies to Joe her Joe would never do me? anything like that. No. No way. No more tests. No way. Look, Tim, I'm sorry. I know how, how this sounds. How could, could you? How can you? How could you know? And still, you ask me to prove to your family, take another test, and prove to your family that I'm blood. What's wrong? You have the first test results. Are those not good enough? Tim, it's not like that. Uh, they got to you. They got to you while I was gone, right? And now you're figuring out that I'm not good enough. You're just like they That's are. That's not true. All right. All right. I know that. I know that, and you know that. Uh, but, here's, okay. Nobody else matters, okay? The two of us, we're the only people that matter. I don't care what the rest of the world thinks, okay? You, you are my mother, and you're the reason I came here to find you. And I'm never gonna forget the first time we came face to face. Show me your locket. Look, if I take another test, it just means that it's for the money. And, and that's not why no, coming but, here to find you was about. Honey, you have to listen no, to me. No, look, I've told you all along. I'm not going to jump through any hoops to prove to, to a bunch of strangers that, that they already think the but worst what, of me. What, what, what about your school? What about your dreams? You need that money. What, what about finding the person I've been searching for my whole life? And her, her family thinks that the only reason I'm here is to con her from her money. God, why don't you even bother? No, don't. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Not, not like this. No. Honey, look at me. Look at me. I understand. I understand. I know what you've been through. I just don't want to get out of here, okay? I know. I know that I'm not much. I know that I've, I've done... I've done so many things that I'm not proud of. They can't do this to me. I'm not going to stand around and let your family do this to me. They're not going to, okay? They're not. No, listen to me. No more tests. You have my word. You have my word. I'll get you that money, baby. I'll get you that money. If somehow, some way, I'll get it to you. I promise. See, I, I seen Paulina do one too many things that just, it just wasn't like her. And so I asked him to come and to see her for a couple of days. And surprise, 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 he was able to clear his schedule, wasn't he? Go on, go on. He needed a place to crash, and so he asked if he could crash here. And I was about to just hide his junk and totally lie about the whole thing. But since I have done that to such amazing success, I thought that maybe I should do the opposite. So that you won't go slamming out the door. Nick, come on, say something. You're scaring me here. What do I say? This arrangement? You okay with it? This is so, so not a big deal. And that is the truth. Do you have any idea how good it feels to tell, just tell the truth? Well, yeah, of course you do. What is that supposed to mean? Well, you always tell the truth, that's all. Some people have a trickier relationship with reality. Hey, time in reeks. the whole truth, huh? Mm-hmm. 
I guess you're kind of rubbing off on me. Uh, not again. What? This is not happening again. What are you talking about? Have fun with Tito. I'm out of here. Wait, Nick, what did I do? Do me one favor, okay? Next time I do something really stupid like call you, hang up on me. David, what happened? <laughs> As I was getting into my car to leave, I heard someone scream. I went to investigate, and I found your mother in the garden. She was very shaken and obviously upset by Mr. Sinclair's unwanted advances. Oh, give me a break. She was very upset, so I brought her back to the house. Okay. Well, you just made your first big mistake, Halliday, because that's a total lie. Tell me. It's lying. I can't believe you'd flat out lie like that. Tell him, Amanda. What did you do to my mom? I didn't do anything. Tell him what happened. Tell him the truth. <laughs> no! I tried to stop him. I didn't want him to touch me. And he tried to, to kiss me. I screamed. I screamed and he disappeared. What are you saying? You, you know that I didn't. You said that you just came over here to talk to her. I did. Amanda, what are you saying? It's tell time him the you truth. left, Mr. Sinclair. Amanda, listen to me. Just tell him the stop truth. Stop it. Stop it. Tell him to stop it. Allie, Allie, call the police. No, you're not going to have to do that. I'm leaving. But this isn't over, Halliday. Not by a long shot. Allie, please promise me you'll never leave your mother's side. You have to go. David's lying. Your mother's sick. Can't you tell? I almost believed you for a while. I'll be back. Better? Everything's peaceful now. It's quiet. Forget. Amanda, just let yourself forget. Soon, everything will be peaceful. Everything. You don't have to worry about anything anymore. I will handle everything, I promise. I really need you, Mom. Oh, shh. Joe. Tim was worried about me, so he came by to see if I was okay. That's sweet. Yeah. Hey, it's getting late. Why don't, why don't you just drop by the restaurant tomorrow, okay? Yeah. All right. Hey, 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 hey. We're gonna figure this out together, okay? Yeah. Good night. Sweet dreams. Sorry, Joe. I didn't know Tim was going to stop high like that. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Where did you go? <sighs> Sweetheart, look, it's been a very long day. Why don't you go take a nice, long, hot bath? Okay? You will come in and wash my back? Yeah. Whatever.
and how far you went to protect her. I know I've heard that voice before. 